Hello and welcome back to SEO Crash Course for WordPress users. This video is about user-friendly URLs in WordPress. As you learned in one of the preceding videos, one of the crucial things that uh, you need for, to do for uh, your on-page SEO is to use your keyword in the URL of your page. And again, WordPress makes it really easy. You just need to make sure that your WordPress uses user-friendly URLs instead of just a bunch of all sorts of characters that look like, like a dog's breakfast. So, as you can see here, it's highlighted with yellow. That's how a, a dog's breakfast URL or a messy URL, not user-friendly URL, looks like. So, it's just a, you know, a question mark, some, some characters, uh, you know, numbers, and so on. So you can't really figure out what this uh, specific post is uh, all about. Other than not being cool for SEO, because such URLs don't contain your keyword, it's also hard to, like I said, memorize such, uh, such links. Especially when numbers get by a long shot bigger. In this case, it's not exactly a long number, but it can you know, way, get way bigger, longer, and uh, then it's a real issue. So you most definitely need to change that. So, how to fix messy URLs? First off, you need to uh, log in to your uh, WordPress dashboard, go to Settings, select Permalinks, and click it. And uh, before we move on, let me explain what a permalink actually is. A permalink is just a permanent link, so that's where the perma part is coming from. Now, just select post name so that your permalinks uh, are just uh, names of your posts and uh, click Save Changes. Again, this setting means that uh, uh, your permalinks or direct and permanent links to your posts will look like your actual uh, site address, in my case it's uh, webdesign.com, plus the actual uh, post name. Instead of this URL, the one that ends uh, with the question mark P equals sign 1 to 3, you're gonna have something like Funny cats. Well, provided that uh, your post is called Funny cats. Let's get back to uh, our WordPress dashboard. So, using this uh, option is basically best in terms of SEO. That's because it's concise, keyword rich, because since you're displaying your post name uh, in your permalink uh, and your post name contains your keyword automatically. Uh, the URL contains your keyword as well. I hope it makes sense. Plus, uh, this uh, uh, permalink structure means that you won't have any redundant details, like some you know characters that you don't really need and so on. You may want to use like different structure for your uh, permalinks, but it's usually not the case. In case you do want to display uh, the year of your post, Make sure that you do it properly and that you understand all the drawbacks and issues that it can cause. Because some users try to search for the most up-to-date info and they can just go away from your site, from your blog, if they notice that the post is not exactly fresh. If you still want to do that, use uh, the year or the month of your post, just insert the following value in your custom structure text field. So year post name if you want to display just the year and the post uh, post name actually or year month num post name you can slice and dice different structure tags but remember that using just post name like here is best for SEO anyways that being said if you need uh, more info on uh, how to use uh, structure tags in your permalinks, you can just go to uh, codex.wordpress.org forward slash using underscore permalinks and here is the actual site and you can just play around with the with the settings for for your permalinks so you can use uh, these structure tags to uh, set up your permalinks as you see fit so it's all of them Plus, you can see all sorts of um, extra info on uh, how to troubleshoot issues related to a permalinks and so on. 
The most likely issue that you may have with uh, enabling permalinks on your WordPress blog is uh, mod underscore rewrite. Thing is, in order to be able to use the uh, mod underscore rewrite module, you need to make sure that it's enabled on your uh, hosting server, on your hosting. So you may want to check back with your hosting provider and make sure that mod rewrite or the mod rewrite module is enabled on your server. All in all, it's extremely easy to switch on user-friendly URLs in WordPress. And it's one of the cases where you need to stick to the KISS principle. Keep it simple, stupid. Just use your uh, post name and you're good to go. Now, you know how to enable and properly set up user-friendly URLs or permalinks on your WordPress site. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.